honored to be building this important amphibious assault ship here at Ingalls Shipbuilding in sunny and thankfully so much cooler Pascagoula, Mississippi today. On any occasion centered around a ship being built to support sailors and marines, the obvious theme is one of service. But on a day like today, laying the foundation of this ship, I think also of sacrifice. And this is a most fitting subject for this particular ship, as it is being built not only to serve the servants of our nation, but also in honor of those who sacrificed all so that we could enjoy the familiar freedoms to which we have grown so accustomed. As USS Fallujah sails the seas in the decades to come, she will commemorate the valor of our warriors who fought, sacrificed, and prevailed in Fallujah. She will also do her part to ensure the Navy and Marine Corps team maintains advantage in projecting combat power wherever she sails. You take pieces of steel, wire, pipe, sensors, and electronic components, and you create something special. You build American warships. It's a continued team effort, which takes commitment to ensure that we're making the right investments today so that we are equipped with the right capabilities for the challenges of tomorrow. When General Mattis made his now famous quote, no better friend, no worse enemy, he understood that amphibious ships were critical tools the warfighter needed to make those words ring true and cause fear in the hearts of would-be adversaries. I hereby declare that the keel of the future USS Fallujah, LHA-9, has been truly and fairly laid.